some breaking news. We now know the name of the Tarpon Springs police officer who shot and killed a man over the weekend. Late today, the police chief released the officer's name and addressed social media rumors. News channelist Jamel Lene is joining us live tonight from Tarpon Springs there at the police department, where you just got your hands on his personnel file. And how does it read, Jamel? Good evening, Keith. Peter Bernard and I have been combing through at least 500 pages of the officer's personnel file, and so far we've found nothing but awards and accolades for Officer Scott McIsaac. Tuesday afternoon, Tarpon Springs Police Chief Robert Colchin addressed social media rumors regarding Saturday's officer-involved shooting. We urge everyone to cease the misinformation and allow the thorough investigation to be completed. The chief tells us patrol officer Scott McIsaac pulled the trigger. Officer McIsaac has been with the department since 2011. The chief said Provenza did have a weapon when he came at the officer. There is inaccurate information being disseminated that the subject was either unarmed or had sunglasses in his hand. Again, speculation, misinformation. This was not the case. It is to be noted that the weapon used by the subject was recovered. The chief did not say what the weapon was. However, he does believe the rumors are putting other officers in danger. Individuals have falsely identified Tarpon Springs Police Major Michael Trill as the officer involved, which has been followed by malicious accusations being made about him mention of going to the officer's residence and mention of his family. We tried to ask the chief more questions, but he walked out as soon as he read his statement. Chief, this is Jamel with News Channel 8. Can you tell us why the suspect was found laying on the ground for several minutes before anyone helped him? And we do know that the FDLA, they, FDLE is still investigating this shooting as well as these threats that have been made to the officer. Keith? Obviously, the chief in no mood to answer your question or anyone else's, but he did mention a second investigation. What's that about, Jamal? He did. He said that the department will be conducting their own internal investigation regarding their policies. We know right now that the officer is on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. Keith? Jamal and in Tarpon Springs, thank you.